Hey everyone, uh, today I'm working on a 2014 Toyota Camry and I'm going to show you how to remove the front bumper cover which you will need to do in order to do stuff like remove the headlights. You'll need a few things to do this such as a small flathead screwdriver to remove the clips and then either a Phillips head screwdriver or a 10 millimeter wrench to take out the screws on the bottom. First thing I'm going to do is remove this plastic cover and it's held in place with seven clips. Uh, this is where that small flathead screwdriver comes in handy. I'm going to start removing them one by one. After all the clips have been removed, lift up the cover and move it out of the way. I don't want to set off any airbags accidentally, so I'm going to disconnect this negative battery cable. Next up are the three clips that are on top of the grill, and I'll be using a flathead screwdriver to take them out. You don't have to remove the grill to take out the bumper, but for those of you who want to know how it's done, all you have to do is just grab it with your fingers and pull it one part at a time, starting from the side and working your way towards the other side. Here's a close-up shot of the hooks that hold the grill in place. And behind the grill there are three more clips that you have to take out with a flathead screwdriver. There are two different style clips inside the wheel well. The first one you have to turn clockwise and then pry the clip out. And the second clip is just a plastic screw. I'm going to move on to the bottom of the bumper. There are several 10 millimeter screws that have to be removed along the front of the bumper over here. I do have the car up in the air just to give you a better shot at where all the screws are. You don't need to do this because all these screws you can get at with the car still on the ground. And finally you have to disengage the sides of the bumper from the fender. You do that by pulling back this wheel well liner and the best thing to do is to grab the bumper with both hands, one from behind, one in the front and just pull it straight out. This will disengage the bumper from the fender. Here's a close up shot of the clips. If you do have the fog lamps, you'll need to disconnect the electrical connector. 
For those cars that came equipped with the parking assist system, you'll need to disconnect the sensor, which is right above the fog lamp. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side of the car. That's it, I can now take off the bumper cover. I'm not going to go through every single step on how to reinstall the bumper, I'm sure you can follow along backwards. I did want to though to show you how to line up the bumper and clip the sides back in place. You'll also want to tuck the wheel well liner behind the bumper. Don't forget to install the two clips. That's gonna do it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. As always, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> uh, don't know what the heck that was. Um, do check out my other videos that I have on the Toyota Camry and I'll see you later.